Hey guys, a lot of people have been asking me about the post I did recently, the story about focus. And so I thought that I would elaborate on that a little bit here. Right now, with Christmas coming up, end of year, COVID thrown in for good measure, a lot of people are struggling to get stuff done. They're struggling to focus. There's so many distractions, there's so many things to juggle. We've got Christmas time and the gifts and coordinating holidays. We've got kids with school finishing and exams, and for the first time exams might have had to actually be online. There's so many things that can get in the way of us focusing on what we need to do as family members, as professionals, as team leaders, as self-employed people. So many things that we need to focus on. It's easy to find ourselves juggling too much and not being able to cope with it all. So what can we do about it? Well, if you're one of those people like me that struggles to focus and so easily gets distracted by butterflies, then what I would encourage you to do first of all is to reflect on how do you normally get things done? How have you got stuff done in the past? If you've had a deadline, was it the pressure that got you to get it finished? Did you have to clear out the distractions in your environment? Do you need to be fueled by something, by a purpose or a mission? Is it a belief that you have? Is it a responsibility that you have? People are depending on you. Maybe you can write a list of all the things and all the people that will benefit from you getting this stuff done, and then that's gonna fuel you to clean out all of the things that are getting in the way. You can write a list and schedule your time. I mean, I worked with thousands of students that would find that they just let stuff get in the way. And if I could grab my phone and show you, but it's here, it's the number one reason why we don't get stuff done. We get distracted by simple things like our phones and our family and everyone who's on the phone and we know it's a smartphone, but really it's bloody stupid because it stops us from getting what we need done. So what else can you do? Create that routine, get a stand-up desk. I mean, I had a stand-up desk and I still do in the room next door. And it's great because it keeps me focused and I feel like I'm engaged in doing something. The trick is that if you get a stand-up desk, move it away from other people because if you're one of those that struggle to focus, you're just gonna go and annoy the shit out of other people, then they're going to blame you for not letting them focus because you're off with the fairies chasing that butterfly and talking to other people. Something else that used to work really well was the good old smoko break. So back in the day when people were allowed to smoke and it wasn't shunned, that would give you a chance to nick off outside quickly and at least break your routine. It would create a pattern interrupt. So maybe what you can do now is every 30 minutes, go for a walk, go for a stretch, get some exercise, knock out 20 push-ups, do something that's just gonna break you out of that focus, regain your attention, and then shake out the energy that you had built up, and then go back and do another 30 minutes of work. One of the things we recommend to our clients and students is the Pomodoro effect. So Google that, but basically it's 25 minutes of focused attention. Finally, remove your distractions. It's really important that you remove your distractions. And I highlight this strongly because that's what works for me. Anything that's a distraction is going to trigger me, whether it's having to do the ironing or put the washing out. In fact, I hate ironing, I'll never do that. But put the washing out, bring the washing in. Is it too windy? Maybe I should bring it back inside. Is it too hot? Maybe I need to close the blinds, blah, blah, blah. Fill the list with ways to distract yourself. And if you know this is you, pinch yourself, write a list of all the stuff that gets in the way and then eliminate it before you sit down to get your work done. Now, focus is one of the many talents that we have. We all have some amount of focus, whether it's strong for us or not so strong. In fact, we have a card for it. Focus is a talent. It's part of the Gallup Clifton Strength Finder platform. There's this whole philosophy around. We're all born with natural talents. Focus is one of them. <laughs> I don't have it very high. It's about halfway down the list for me, so I draw on it painfully when I need to. But if any of this is resonating with you, head over to Strengths Academy, strengths, plural, academy.com.au, or click the link down here with a hashtag um, through to Strengths Academy and you can learn more about this kind of work. 
Over 24 million people around the world have taken the survey that helps them understand what they're naturally good at. And trust me, it's created some amazing results. 85, 85% of the Fortune 500 companies around the world use this system to help their staff and teams and executives be more successful, help them move closer to excellence and do more of the kind of work that they love. Yes, that was a bit of a sales pitch because I know that it works. So head on over to strengthacademy.com.au, write a list of all the things that get in the way of you doing the work you need to do and then start to eliminate them. Have an amazing day, have an amazing week. Yes, we are not very far from Christmas right now. Get cracking on that list and get going.